Go over that one more time. Um, we've been open since the Monday before Thanksgiving. Uh, we'll be open until New Year's Eve, and this is Charmin and Garcelle's gift to uh, New York for the holidays. And even Charmin putting out the restrooms is very important. People are doing a lot of holiday shopping. Oh, and definitely. And, you know, that's the big thing with all the shoppers. And it really is so hard to find, you know, a public free restroom around here. Right. You know, it's, it's definitely a big help. And uh, Duracell, what are you guys doing here? I mean, this is the uh, Duracell Power Lodge. Um, this is uh, this is actually where you know people come to, to recharge. We have comfortable couches. Uh, we have uh, cell phone chargers for everybody. Um, also, if you uh, take a look back there at the, uh, the Duracell uh, snowmobile bikes, okay, what happens is people ride those and they generate energy. The energy is then stored to light the sign, the uh, 2009 sign that's going to be uh, going to be on time. For this sign here. Is it the actual sign? This is not the actual sign. We'll be here. Oh, you guys did this in oh, 2009. It's the first year. And actually, um, this is this is Charmin's third year, um, and this is the first year we've had Duracell. It's got uh, it's got some history about Duracell, um, about the different products that Duracell offers, and uh, that'll be right up. Just after it loads. All you do is select what you want to know and it shows the different kinds of batteries we have. Everything's touchless. Different chargers, memory, memory cards. And then you learn about each one and kind of goes into in, in depth about them with different, uh, different facts. It's really cool though. Yeah, wow. <laughs> And that touch is great. <laughs> but yeah, we just got more information about everything. What's the most famous path in truth? Paul, what did it? What's the path? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rotary energy. Okay. So we get people to go on the bike and the bikes are connected to like an alternator. They generate energy. We then take that energy and store it in a back fire safe room. Um, and on New Year's Eve, we're going to be taking those parts with all the energy and the batteries on them up to one time square and powering the numerals 2009 um, when they light up for the New Year. They look like this, but they're not here yet. They're still no, on the 17th? Those are going to be here on the 17th, but um, they are going to be the actual numbers that will be powered uh, on one time square on top of the building. Yeah, we worked with a group of engineers uh, to do it, but our mechanical engineer was the lead designer in this. Um, so. so this is where all the energy from the bikes are being brought to. They'll yes. be stored, That's and then they're all like plugged in. Will they be brought somewhere else on New Year's Eve to be? Yes, they're going to be brought to one time. Right, right where the ball is going to drop, yes. right? We right above the, the bicycles. I don't have the exact hours, but we expect that we would collect enough energy um, in seven to ten days. Um, which is actually, we're open for thirty-six days. So um, every ten days or so, we actually have to release. Some of the energy. <laughs>